Hello, it's Cooking Boca. Sorry, I'm with the Boca Voice, and I'm so happy to be back here at Casa D'Angelo in Boca Raton with Chef Ricky Piper. And today he's going to share a Thanksgiving recipe with us and show us exactly how it's made. Soft butternut squash polenta, which is a gluten-free dish. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little twist for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna use some uh, wild mushroom from uh, Washington State, little parmigiano reggiano, uh, garlic, uh, butter. As you see, we already roasted, uh, we roasted some butternut squash. Uh, we roasted some uh, Italian mild sausage. And uh, today we're using the polenta vasugana, which is a uh, big commodity these days to use in, uh, in the houses because it takes just a few minutes to cook. It's instant and it's uh, gluten free. Right. Here we got some uh, chicken stock boiling. Okay, time we're gonna heat our saute pan. We're gonna add uh, a little bit of butter in our stock. So it'll keep the polenta from sticking. Make sure you lower the flame. Pouring our polenta very slowly. Okay. In the meantime, that the polenta is cooking with our uh, chicken stock, as you see, it's very important that you keep on stirring. Again, on just low flame. And we're going to start sauteing our mushroom and sausage with a little bit of garlic. and hot. Add the stock as needed on the polenta. Don't be afraid. You want it to cook and be nice and creamy. At this point, we can add the but the pre-roasted butternut squash. Keep on searing so it gets melts right in there. Here, the garlic turns a bit brown. We're going to add our mild Italian sausage. color and flavor. Again, as you cook the polenta, it will take about uh, six to eight minutes to be completely cooked and ready to serve. Make sure we add some salt, a bit of pepper, We'll do the same with our sausage. We'll just put some pepper. At this point, as you see the sausage starts caramelizing, we can add our mushrooms. A bit of salt again. See the point that's coming very beautiful. The butter knot squash is melting in there and give it a nice flavor. Now as you see our polenta basically ready. Once you take out of the flame, you can add lots of Parmesan cheese, a little more butter. Everything is melting in there. Beautiful. Okay. Just let it sit for a few minutes. In the meantime, we'll finish our mushroom and sausage. Again, this is a gluten-free uh, uh, dish. 
which in this case we did with sausage, but it's also very good vegetarian uh, with just uh, some wild mushrooms. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Italian parsley for color. Ready to plate. This is a very good side dish, or it could also be a main course. You see that sausage is nice and caramelized. All right, well, we hope that you will want to try this dish at your Thanksgiving meal. And if you do, we would love to hear from you. You can either send us your comments or send us a photo of the dish that you made. Or you could reach out to Chef Ricky here at Cafe D'Angelo. They will not be open on Thanksgiving. They will be with their family members, but we hope to see you here soon. As always, thank you for watching What's Cooking Boca. Everyone here at Cafe D'Angelo wishes you a very happy Thanksgiving, as well as at the Boca Voice. Please follow us online at thebocavoice.com or on Facebook. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.